I'm going to be doing a case problem. The first thing I'm going to do is chunk. Chunking means reading the word problem carefully and finding the most important parts. So I'm going to start with Matt drew the rectangular prism shown below. I'm going to chunk part A. Draw and label a different rectangular prism with the same volume as Matt's prism. I'm going to chunk draw and label different rectangular prism and same volume as Matt's prism. Now I'm going to be chunking part B. Explain how you know that the volume of your prism is the same as the volume of Matt's prism. I'm going to be chunking explain how you know volume of your prism same as the volume Matt's prism. Now I can cross off the C because I am done chunking. Next, I need to solve part A. I need to find the volume of Matt's prism before I figure out the volume of another rectangular prism. So first, volume equals length times width times height. Five centimeters would be the length two centimeters would be the width, and four centimeters would be the height. First, I'm going to start with the length, which is five, times the width, which is two. It, so five times two would equal 10. Then I'm going to multiply 10 times the height. So it'll be 10 times four, which equals 40 centimeters cubed. Volume is the cubes inside of a prism, and that's why I labeled 40 centimeters cubed. The second chunk of part A tells me to draw my own prism. So I'm going to go down here, and I'm going to draw my own prism. To make my own prism, I will need to find three different numbers to make 40 centimeters cubed. I tried a few different combinations, and the one that worked best was 10, for the length, two for the width, and two for the height. We will be doing volume again, which is length times width times height. So the length times the width is 10 times two, which is 20. Then you do 20 times the height, which is 20 times two, 40, centimeters cubed. As you can see, I've annotated Matt's model and my model, so I can cross out the A in case. I also solved the equation for Matt's prism, which was 40 centimeters cubed, and I also solved the equation for my prism, which was 40 centimeters cubed. I can cross off the S. So the last step in case is E, which means explain. That's pretty much what B is asking me to do. Explain how you know that the volume of your prism is the same as the volume for Matt's prism. The volume of Matt's prism was 40 centimeters cubed. And the volume of my prism was 40 centimeters cubed. So I know that the same number of cubes fits inside each of these prisms. I can cross off my E for explain. And that's how you do a case problem.